You see, while these groups are often made up of people who come together around a common faith, they're usually working to help people of all faiths or of no faith at all. And they're particularly well placed to offer help. As I've said many times, I believe that change comes not from the top down, but from the bottom up. And few are closer to the people than our churches, our synagogues, our temples, and our mosques. And that's why Washington needs to draw on them. The fact is, the challenges we face today, from saving our planet to ending poverty, are simply too big for government to solve alone. We need an all-hands-on-deck approach. I'm not saying that faith-based groups are an alternative to government or secular nonprofits, and I'm not saying that they're somehow better at lifting people up. What I am saying is that we all have to work together, Christian and Jew, Hindu and Muslim, believer and non-believer alike, to meet the challenges of the 21st century. I know there are some who bristle at the notion that faith has a place in the public square. But the fact is, leaders in both parties have recognized the value of a partnership between the White House and faith-based groups. President Clinton signed legislation that opened the door for faith-based groups to play a role in a number of areas, including helping people move from welfare to work. Al Gore proposed a partnership between Washington and faith-based groups to provide more support for the least of these. And President Bush came into office with a rally, uh, or a promise to rally the armies of compassion establishing a new office of faith based and community initiatives. Uh, what we saw uh, over the last eight years is that the office has never fully uh, completed its mission or fulfilled its promise. Support for social services to the poor and the needy have consistently been underfunded. And rather than promoting the cause of all faith based organizations, former officials in the office have described how at times it was used to promote partisan interests. As a result, the smaller congregations and community groups that were supposed to be empowered ended up getting shortchanged. Well, I still believe that it's a good idea to have a partnership between the White House and grassroots groups, both faith-based and secular, but it has to be a real partnership, not a photo op. And that's what it will be when I'm president. I'll establish a new Council for Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships. The new name will reflect a new commitment. This council will not just be another name on the White House organizational chart, it will be a critical part of my administration. Make no mistake, as someone who used to teach constitutional law, I believe deeply in separation of church and state, but I don't believe this partnership will endanger that idea so long as we follow a few basic principles. First, if you get a federal grant, you can't use that grant money to proselytize to the people you help and you can't discriminate against them or against the people you hire on the basis of their religion. Second, federal dollars that go directly to churches, temples, and mosques can only be used on secular programs. And we'll also ensure that taxpayer dollars only go to those programs that actually work. With these principles as my guide, my Council for Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships will strengthen faith-based groups by making sure they know the opportunities open to them to build on their good works. Too often, faith-based groups, especially smaller congregations and those that aren't well-connected, don't know how to apply for federal dollars, or how to navigate a government website to see what grants are available, or how to comply with federal laws and regulations. We rely too much on conferences in Washington instead of getting technical assistance to the people who need it on the ground. What this means is that what's stopping many faith-based groups from helping struggling families is simply a lack of knowledge about how the system works. Uh, that will change when I'm president. I will empower the nonprofit religious and community groups that do understand how this process works to train the thousands of groups that don't. We'll train the trainers by giving larger faith-based partners like Catholic Charities and Lutheran Services and secular nonprofits like Public Private Ventures the support they need to help other groups build and run effective programs. Every house of worship that wants to run an effective program and that's willing to abide by our Constitution, from the largest megachurch and synagogues to the smallest storefront churches and mosques, can, can and will have access to the information and support they need to run that program. 